Startail, Virus versus OGS Inca. Over here in the red, we have our Terran player. Some people say he's pretty sick. Good. Uh, it would have been great if it had cute right then, but. Stop it, Pyrus. My delivery not so good. Pyrus, my kid. Delivery's always good. No. You're always so modest. Over here in the blue, we have. OGS Inca. Whoa, it is a... Is that Toast Man? I believe from yeah, man. Ren and Stimpy. Well, I guess, now, what is that on the right, then? I don't know. A goblin? A goblin? No, toast Man versus a goblin. Look, here's the thing of that, that. That was a pretty fat creature, and I don't believe goblins have obesity issues. Have no, you I ever seen a fat gathering. goblin? Yeah. No, think about this, viewers. I have. What, there's fat goblins? In Magic the Gathering, no. Magic the Gathering is a good game. No, but think about this, in general... We associate trolls with being fatter than goblins. Now think about that. That's actually true. Yeah. How, I just, well, I, I, if you I, live I, under a bridge, there's going to be plenty of fish. But fish are healthy. They You're not going to eat them. They got omega-3. They don't poop much. They still poop much? No. Wow. You ever find troll poop in the woods? No, man. You know why they don't poop much, man? <laughs> Obviously. Jeez. Get a brain taste. Now there are... Trolls. Oh, hold that thought, actually. I know this game, because this game's already picking up. Yeah. Because we don't have to BS anymore. Um, we have a quick <laughs> nexus. <laughs> Thank God for that. Oh. We have a quick nexus here uh, for the Protoss. Yeah, nexus first. You know what's interesting about Inca is he's got the craziest Protoss versus Protoss builds, but he loves standard Protoss for staring openings. As he should. Uh, you know, right now, during the current understanding of the game, it, a lot of people are feeling that Protoss is outclassing Terran, but I think that there's been a huge strides forward since OGS Supernova hit the scene. You know, there's Siege Shank play, there's also much better play from uh, Green Marauder Viking users, as we've seen from players like Thorzane. And, uh, not as much from the Koreans yet, but I think it's going to catch on pretty soon. Now, he's going to get additional gateways. This is generally what we see from Protoss players if they go ahead and get the fast expansion because you need to back that fast expansion up uh, with a lot of units to defend it. Occasionally we've seen robotics. We have not seen Star uh, yeah, Stargate. You have to choose. Are you going to make a lot of units or are you going to tech up to observers? Now, uh, we are going to find out pretty quickly that Virus is either going for a Blue Flame Heli Drop or Banshees with Cloak, and I think it's going to be Banshees with Cloak. I do believe, Tasteless, that we are going to see a Banshee Cloak Rush. And the thing is, so many Protosses do not get the very fast Observer with this build because if your opponent just attacks with a bunch of units, you'll die because you didn't spend all your money on units. But one thing I'd love to see is incorporating more Forges. Like you just, hey, you're not down your ramp yet? Okay, cannon in the middle line. Thank you, TT1. That build is so good. Like, oh, it's in the Nexus first, but the, the thought behind it of... Hey, now you don't die to that, and you're getting plus one. That's a great Well, you know, call. when I saw TT1 do that build, what amazed me was that he um, uses the advantage of the cannon sight rather than the fact that the cannon can shoot yes. stuff down. Yes. And that way he doesn't need to get detectors, because the cannon can see uh, cloaked units even in a range it can't shoot at, mm -hmm. which is really interesting. Now, Inca's doing a great move here. Normally when you go for your fast expansion, uh, your Nexus first, you do want to do one poke. And he's doing that poke right now. This is going to be to see what he can see. Try to figure out as much as going on as possible. Oh, In fact, well, he, he might even just try to run past here. Just scout with that zone. Dude, Inka is so good. And Denied, though. Let me tell you what he saw. He saw the reactor on the barracks that should trigger a robo. And it does. He starts his robo. Problem is, Cloak is almost done. Banshee uh, should be on the way. Um, getting a Raven right after that. Banshee moving out now. I think Virus might, uh, it, yeah, it looks like he might all in, man. He might taste this build it up. He might. We're going to see if it's a taste this build based off whether or not he wins. <laughs> all right, the Banshee is coming. Cloak just finished. Uh, Robo is almost done, but you can get a lot of probes. If you are completely efficient with your Banshee micro, don't ever let it attack anything else. Target it the whole way. You can still get, like, a lot of probes, man. And here we go. One probe. 
cloak. Two probes. Three. Two probes. Four. Five. Four right now. Six. And uh, he's not being completely efficient. Sliding no. in, chasing those the whole way. He could have already killed two more probes. Okay, Observer about to pop out. Bring the Banshee to me. And oh! he gets it at six kills, which is, I mean, that's pretty good. Uh, Inca, though, he has good tech, good economy. Both of them pretty similar in supply. And yeah, it looks like we are going to see the Tasis build, man. It's going to be wow. Raven, Marines, Sea Shanks, uh, and he's going to add in some Banshees. Because, hey, you know what? He's if, doing that he, actual build I did. What you can, a cool thing you can do with this, if you have the Banshees with your army, is... Uh, you cloak them in the battle, and they want to kill, so they bring up the Observer. But you see the Observer with your Raven, so you target it, and you're like, ha! And then you kind of run away and let your Banshee do a lot of damage. We saw Jinro do that and win uh, yeah, a pretty lot of easily. Banshees, man. It's like sub-3 Banshees. All right, here we go. The Tasteless build. SCD's on the way. Uh-oh. Bit by bidding it up a little bit. Now he sees it at the Fire Gateway. And... Fire Gateway. That's what it is, man. It's fire magic. Ow, it's man. hot. Don't touch it. Yeah, man. Now, um, the Immortal's going to play a big role here because he can shoot down the tank with that. Yeah, if he can get that target on the tank, that will be great. I think his greens are going to buffer a lot. So are the SCVs. Here comes everything. Brodos is going to have to use probes if he wants to win this. Siege mode is about to finish. It just finished. He needs to actually make a wall with his SCVs, maybe throw down some bunkers. I don't know if Inka should be engaging. What Wait, is defense he doing? drone, please. And there it goes, Point Defense Drone does go up. Those Stalkers no longer doing any real damage for a little bit. And it runs out. Does he have enough? That Immortal, as you said, Taze, is being absolutely critical in this defense thus far. Wow. I did not think that battle was going to be so one-sided. Yeah, and those Cloak Banshees, though, they're going to do a lot of damage. As I said, uh, the Observer did go down. Does he have another one around? Not yet. Well, he's making another Immortal oh, there it moment. is. He brought it down from his main. You gotta be careful though, it's easy to lose that thing. Yeah, very easy. And really good DPS from those Banshees stand in the back there. The Immortal not gonna be too, too helpful against Marines, but not as bad as some may have you think. And with more Stalkers warping in, man, this could be it for Virus. Yeah, looks like Virus is technical all in. Uh, did not turn out to be very effective. And the Banshees are even out of energy, so it doesn't even matter if there's an Observer there, but... Still doing a lot of damage. Another Siege Shank has gotten in. Wait a minute. Is he got to push back the last seconds of this? Repairing the Auto Turret, I have never seen that. I didn't even know you could repair oh, an Auto Turret. Oh, that is so neat. That is neater than a Clean Freak's room, Tasteless. It is pretty neat. I'm surprised he didn't use all of his probes. You just got a shot of him there. Yeah, yeah, actually, those should have been brought into battle. Um, I am actually astounded. This is... At the last seconds, when it looked like he was going to falter, this was actually just like Lord of the Rings yet again. It's like Gandalf rode in on a siege tank when all hope was lost for the Terran army, man. And Inca is up his ramp and hurting. Well, Inca is still in this, but with his bunker uh, finishing, it's going to be tough for him to pull through. Uh, Terran's going to do a hard push. Oh, look at this. I, I, I don't know about that one. I don't know about that bunker basis. <laughs> I feel like he throws down a command center here and just turtles. Oh, uh -oh. beautiful force field. Absolutely awesome force field there. And the Siege Shank, will it be taken out? Yes, the Immortals once again playing a huge role. I think, I think you're totally right, Artos. The, the Banshee, though. Himself. The Banshee. How many kills does that thing have? It has 13, Tasteless. 13 kills on Yeesh. this Banshee. And uh, the Immortals, once again, just being absolute heroes. And Inka will hold this off. And goodbye even to the Raven, unfortunately. That was an important unit. You should not have lost the Raven. Uh, says never more. But yeah, he just he overextended up the ramp. If he had stayed completely on the bottom, that force field would never happen. He would have had more than enough Marines to hold that off. It just let the Zealots go to town on those Marines without them being microed. Marines need to be micro tasteless. This game has been seesawing pretty hard. Yeah. Now, Protoss did lose some probes, but don't forget Terrence sent, what, like a quarter of his SCVs? In that, maybe even a third in that battle. Yeah, in fact, right now we have 15 SCVs against 37 probes. Inca's uh, it's pretty solid shape. Probably just see another all-in. Yeah, probably take another chunk of SCVs. 
Which, Note he's not mining gas. When he when he uh, was failing on that second second try there, after he overcommitted up the ramp, I can't believe he just let the Ravens sit there. Yeah, while I he was totally doing the battle, agree. like that is the expensive unit that is so important. It's so important, man. Now he doesn't have that to to snipe any observers to make his banshees work better because he's still making banshees. His okay. score SCV is coming off the line. We're gonna we're gonna this get a shot of it in a second yeah. here, guys. This is his last choice. Did he cancel the Nexus? What do you think? Uh, what do you I feel thinking? like he might just hold it. Well, actually, this is a I pretty scary phase two. Yeah, he cancels. All right, it's so he will cancel. 59, by the way. He couldn't leave. And, dude, there's a lot of stalkers in there. Point defense run would be brilliant right now. Well, during all this, there is a Banshee in the line of Inca. So... There may be even a step three to this all in, because this one's already done. Well, yeah, Inca's gonna hold this for sure. Immortal micro back. And that's the thing about stalkers, they're uh, faster, they're quick. have more range than uh, Marines. That is quite true, he wants to save that 11 CG. kills. Huge amount of kills, 13 kills There's now. There's no observer here. This is like actually changing the game so much, man. Maybe GG. Oh. Virus taps out. Virus didn't have enough SCVs to do yeah. another all-in. Inca, ooh, it's a secret. I'm the best player in the tournament. Um, you know, he killed a lot of SCVs for that, but just a few slight mistakes. Imagine if he had pulled the Raven back and had point defense drone during that battle. That was almost purely stalkers coming at him. Yeah. Could have been completely different. Well, you know, when you got a Raven and you're uh, you're trying to do the Casey's build, Trying your, best. trying your little nerd heart out. Uh, you got to keep the Raven alive. And open seriously on one base, you, have, you cannot lose the Raven. No, it's, it's too that expensive. That thing is so expensive. Well, it is. Inca advances. That's our second Protoss advancing today. Over Good day for very, IR. Very strong Terrans. Zero tools at home, clapping his hands. Ah, that's so awesome. It hurts every time because he's got side he's got blades. Side blades, on. Blood, Protoss blood. Every, can Protoss bleed? Do you know? I think blue gas just emits. Yeah, when they die, they kind of evaporate. I don't know. That's a very good question. I don't think they really they intake... They disappear like Obi-Wan Kenobi? I don't think they intake like a lot of water and stuff that would give them blood. You ever notice how in Star Wars, the very first one that was made, Obi-Wan Kenobi gets hit by a lightsaber and he just kind of vaporizes? Yeah, he just... And then in like away. the new Star Wars, like the guy gets his like limbs chopped off. I'm like, I thought the Jedi's vaporized. What happened? George Lucas! Careful! Only Pay Obi attention to your movies! You know I'm right. You got me. I am. Busted. Got me. <laughs> um, two Protosses do advance today. And, you know, I'm not shocked by either of these two moving on. Killer and Inca. No, they're, they're both very great good. players. I think that both matches could have gone either way. Is this going to be the season for Inca? I'm really wondering that because he's playing very well. Hmm. I, I want to – I can't remember what his next round opponent is. I don't know. But if he gets, like, a Protoss, I feel like, wow, you know what? Here we go because he is so sick PvP. I don't know. Yeah, it's going to be interesting. Our next match today is uh, Nasty against Fruit Dealer, Zerg versus Zerg. Oh, my God. Uh, that's it's like our sick. two best Zergs fighting. It's going to be so Two GSL cool. champions. Zerg. Yes. And I Ch got to tell you what, Tasteless. I foresee, I think Nasty might make it to the finals this season. Yeah, I think you might be right. ZVZs, man. Not going to stop him that match unless your he's name is like, Damaga. He's like Inca with PvP or with ZVZ. Inca More so, though. Very matchups. All right, we're going to have a 10-minute break. Don't go too far away. We'll be right back here at the GSL.